In the tenth problem of this CLEP test, we have another word problem. So a supermarket, rectangular in shape and 200 feet by 300 feet, is to be built on a city block that contains 81,600 square feet. There will be a uniform strip around the building for parking. How wide is this strip? So to solve a problem like this, we'll want to make a diagram. So we know that we have a city block that is 81,600 square feet. We know that we're going to put a supermarket on the inside of it. And the strip around the outside is going to be uniform. So we know that it's 200 feet by 300 feet for the inside supermarket. And all we really know besides that is the distance from the edge of the supermarket to the edge of the parking lot is the same on all sides. And we don't know what it is, so what we're going to have to do is give it a variable. And in this case, I'll just call it x. Okay, and this will be the same all the way around. And we know that the total area is this 81,600 square feet. So we can write this next side of the equality using the variable x. So we know that this length here is just x plus 200 plus another x. And for this length here, it's just x at the top, 300 here, and another x. So the area of it will be, for the top, it'll be 2x's plus 200. And this is all multiplied by 2x's plus 300. So if we can solve this equation here, then we can figure out what the width of this parking strip would be. So to solve this, we'll just need to multiply out these two binomials using the FOIL method. Okay, and we'll rewrite 81,600, and that's equal to, so we'll start with the first, 2x times 2x, which would be 4x squared, and then we'll add the outer terms, this one and this one, multiplied together, 2x times 300 will be 600x, and then the inner terms here will just be 200 times 2x, which is another 400x, and then we'll add the last terms multiplied, which is 200 times 300. So that would be 60,000. And from here, we just have to simplify. So I'll subtract this 81,600 from each side, and I'll also combine this 600x and 400x so that I have 0 is equal to 4x squared plus 1,000x minus 21,600. And notice everything here can be divided by 4 so that we can simplify. So 0 is x squared plus 250x minus 5,400. So our equation now is a quadratic, so we can either try and factor or we could just go ahead and use the quadratic formula, which I'll do since that, in this case, looks simple. So x is equal to the negative of the b term, if this is a, b, and c for the coefficients. So negative b is minus 250 plus or minus the square root of this 250 squared minus 4 times the a coefficient, which is 1, times the c coefficient, which is minus 4,500. And then this is all divided by twice the coefficient of x squared, which is just twice 1, so 2. And now we just have to simplify this. So we still have this minus 250 plus or minus square root. And notice that we have minus a negative here, so this is really just plus, and 250 squared is 62,500, and then we're adding 4 times 5,400, 
which is 21,600, all divided by 2 still. And again, this is equal to minus 250 plus or minus the square root, these two combined, which is 84,100. Again, all divided by 2. And the square root here simplifies to 290. So we have minus 250 plus or minus 290 all over 2. So if we do the negative here, we'll end up with a negative number. And the parking lot is a distance, so it can't be negative. So we have to take the positive case here. So this is equal to minus 250 plus 290, so that would be 40, divided by 2, and this is 20. So the parking lot is 20 feet wide.